What's up you guys, it's Ashlyn and these are some girls that are better than you at Brawl Stars. I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw so many videos of girls just killing it in Brawl Stars and I thought I want to show off my girlfriends in Brawl Stars because they are absolutely insane. So first we have Mary also known as Mary Mad and we have Icarus also known as Miranda or Mandy according to her Brawl Stars profile. Every time I log into Brawl Stars I just see these two grinding it out. We're playing some games together and we're playing low brawlers because they are both in North America and I'm currently in Europe for a bit and I didn't want to tilt any of their brawlers because of the delay. So let's look at their profiles. Starting with Mary, just look at all of the rank 35s she has. She has about 44 of them. Holy, that is so insane. She also has 18 masteries, so incredibly impressive. Now let's look at Miranda's profile. All 79 of her brawlers are at rank 35 or higher, so crazy. It's the only way you could get 100,000 total trophies right now. The only brawler that's lower than that is her Lily, which is what she's playing with me right now. Since these girls are so insane at Brawl Stars, I'm gonna be interviewing them about their journey through Brawl Stars because they also play competitively and are very familiar with all the other pros in the competitive scene. So let's get into it. First question, how did you get into Brawl Stars and why did you continue to play for so long? Um, so my... Uh, real life friends got me into it. They introduced it to me literally at the start of COVID. So when everyone was like quarantined, I would casually play like Duo Showdown. And I'd say the reason I'm still playing is probably because of my boyfriend. He's a professional player. So you're the tribe. If you guys don't know, Mary is dating as Livy from Tribe, who is a professional player. They play together all the time. And I just want to say that she was extremely good before even meeting him, and she's even better now. Um, so I started playing, you know, Forever Ago Clash of Clans, and then when Clash Royale came out, you know, there was that little pop-up on Clash of Clans. So then when Brawl Stars came out, there was that little pop-up on Clash Royale. And then literally the first day Brawl Stars came out, I accidentally just like never played Clash Royale again. That's just how fun Brawl Stars was. Like, being able to control your own character was like a game changer for me. I started playing because of my brother and like I've been a gamer since I was really really young. I got a new phone and my brother was like, hey can you download this game on your phone because I want to see if it runs better on your phone and I was like yeah sure whatever and then he started eating so he's like can you just quickly do the tutorial and then i'll play and i was like okay but i'm not gonna play this game like whatever i'm gonna delete it after and he starts playing a game or two on it he's like wow this is actually really smooth on your phone and then after that i just never deleted it ever i just kept playing <laughs> that makes a lot of sense i also like he quit by now but i used to play like class rail clash of clans and in the beginning the Brawl Stars with my brother. That's why I have so many duo showdown is because it was just, you know, me and him. Okay, next question. What brawlers do you guys main? I would say I mainly play sharpshooters, but I've been liking playing tanks recently. Like I just recently got Buster Rango. For me, mm, well, my favorite brawler is Nita. Um, but I really love throwers. So like my favorite brawler is like, used to be tick kind of you need a tick it's like pretty hard but today i could confidently say it's tick it's like the stereotypical like e-girl brawler like i just stand behind the wall and just have so much fun and you can't really do anything about it what are some accomplishments you have in brawl stars um well i personally have 90 in earnings from uh, girl tournaments so a bunch of girls for girls only roster tournaments and I have ninety dollars in earnings for that. So that's and a couple um, of followers on YouTube and Twitch and stuff. But I think I have like slightly more earnings. I don't know the exact number, probably about four hundred. And that's because I won a ballet. I got like two hundred just for myself. Miranda's talking about a tournament that I run called the Bellis tournament. The prize pool is usually five hundred dollars to around two thousand dollars. And the whole point of the tournament is to give casual players and semi-pro players a chance to play with pros and win. 
The teams are usually mixed. For instance, one pro, one semi-pro, and one casual player in a team together. The one that Miranda played in was one pro, one casual, and one girl player. Her team ended up winning and getting first place. If you guys want to know more about these tournaments, you can join my Discord server to know when the next one is. A lot of pro players say they play with game sound off, so do you guys play with the game sound on or off? I, I play, I think it depends on the lobby music. Well, you know the Baby Shark song? I have uh, game sound off for that. I think I've had it on for every other one. I actually feel like pretty strong about this. So the music volume, you have to have that off, and game saw volume, you have to have that on. It's like, it's important. You play better with game volume on. Like, you could hear the gadgets, you know what I mean? Like, it's a literally an advantage. I feel strong about this. Yeah, me too. I feel the same way. So I don't get when pro players say, no, I play with it off. I'm like, don't, like, you hear stuff. Like, for example, you hear like a Leon go invisible, but you don't see it on your screen, but you hear the sound. I mean, perfect example. And especially since they play on like iPads, their like device won't vibrate. So mm -hmm. I don't know when somebody just all of a sudden is on top of you. It, it has to be the ego. <laughs> okay, next question is, who is your biggest inspiration in Brawl Stars? <laughs> Mine is like corny. <laughs> it's, it's like Sans because... Well, I'm obviously his biggest fan, you know. I obviously think he's the best player ever. That just comes with the girl from Bias. Like, you're not allowed to even think anything, you know. So every like time, like, you know, I want to be better at something. Look at like, how does he do it? Does he ever coach you? Yeah. <laughs> Ever like, hey, can you coach me on this brawler? Yeah, no, I literally ask him, like, why didn't this work? Like, he won't, like, get mad at me, you know? That's so cute. <laughs> what, what about you, Mary? Um, okay, I have two answers for this question because I really liked Miranda's answer. I would say my first one is as Livy because, same as Miranda, he, like, inspires me to, like, keep getting better at the game and, like, There'll be times where like we'll lose the game and I'll be like, what did I do wrong? And he'll tell me. Like you'll see us in one of you one lobbies, him teaching me how to dodge spike or ball. Like no, the Grom shots. I remember that. <laughs> um, and then my other answer, I would just say um, girls in esports in general, not just specifically Brawl Stars, but like you could say like Valorant or any of those kind of games that they play them professionally. I kind of look up to them because they or at least we, everyone, all the girls do, we all face mm -hmm. like people saying like, oh, you're a girl, like you're not gonna be good at this. Like, I'm not gonna add you on my team because you're a girl. So seeing other girls kind of like beat the odds per se, I don't know, that's something that I look up to. Following with that theme, do you get people invalidating your accomplishments in Brawl Stars because you're a girl? Oh yeah, 100% funny story a couple of months ago it was um our competitive team we played in a tournament i forget what tournament it was but there was this ongoing joke in the stream that it was not us playing but it was as libby sans chino and or <laughs> maybe it was funny like in the moment but like if you look at it like from a different standpoint like it's like completely invalidating like our win like we won and we did really well but everyone just gave the credit to our boyfriends I had the exact same thing where nobody knew Icarus, Icaros was like a female name. I guess technically it might not be a female name now that I think about it. But I let them think that for like years and years. I think it was about two years ago. I don't know how to phrase it. I came out as a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you revealed that you're a girl. Yeah, and people literally like treated me different. Like, Brad said that before he found out I was a girl, he used to be scared when he would like face me. Well, you know, ladder, like power league, anything. Like just the name was intimidating. So if like people will immediately switch up, they'll say that all my wrangles, I pushed them in like showdown or something. But if you look at like my account, my showdown wins haven't moved for like years. You know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. Technically one. Wait, how do you guys deal with that then? When people start invalidating you or your accomplishments and say, yeah, you're boosted or it's not actually you playing, you got carry, you know, all that stuff. I honestly, to this day, I'm not really sure how to respond to it. Like, most of the time, if it's someone that I don't know, I would ignore it. 
Mm -hmm. I would say, but if it's someone like I know, I think I would fight back and just like call them jealous or something like that. Yeah, I just my exact same feelings on it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, you wish you had this many trophies or this many masteries, this many rank 35s. Like, okay, I can understand if someone said that, if they did have all of that, you know, then it's like, okay, maybe you're not jealous. Maybe you have your doubts, whatever. But like, these are majority people who have way less than you in the game. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like you don't see like fellow 100k people like ever trying to bring me down. What would you say to someone who wants to get into the competitive scene or wants to start grinding in Brawl Stars? How would you start or how did you start? I would say try and find friends with similar goals and push with them. Do your quests every day to power up all your brawlers. How do you get friends? That's like the number one question. It's like the answer is getting friends, but how do you do that? How did you guys make friends in Brawl Stars? I joined Discord servers. Mm -hmm. I joined a club server one time, and then somebody in that like B2B club server sent me a link to the fantasy server. It started to, Lurk sent me a link to the fantasy. And then we made our own server, and our friends started all talking in there that we met in other servers. But even in the Brawl Stars server, there's like a uh, looking for group section yeah i did that before i ever joined to like the b2b clubs i've done that too like in the browser server just looking for a team i've done that somebody sent me a screenshot of like me doing that like years ago like i found you I was like oh my god i gotta delete that post i have actually. a screenshot of me and brawl recruit trying to recruit people to my old club that i was president of oh, <laughs> i literally oh. organized scrims for club league <laughs> So basically make friends and the way to make friends is join discord servers join like brawlsters communities and try to find do you guys just like talk in the chat like let's say you know nobody do you just like talk in the chat like hey guys they want to play with me like that yeah i think that's the first message is like hi good morning everyone if you're feeling brave you can even like Join VC, just be hanging out in like VCs, you know, like the public ones. You said recently, like, what would you say to someone who wants to join comp? I feel like you should just go for it because my first tourney I ever did was your Bellis tourney, and somehow I won. Kind of what encouraged me to like look into like the e girl comp, you know? So. I was like 40,000 trophies back during that Bellis. Technically, if you think about it, you started my career. <laughs> I would say definitely join Discord servers. I literally started from the absolute bottom. I knew absolutely no one. I joined a Discord server and now I was a successful streamer for a while. The friends who play the game and I pushed a, a lot of trophies since I was first introduced to the community make sure you follow both of these amazing girls i'll link their socials down below do you guys want a part two with these girls or any other girls because there are so many girls doing amazing things in this community also make sure you subscribe for more